Hello folks, it's Driver Films on the Driver Films Shortwave channel and today I'm going to be reviewing the Uniden Bearcat UBC 125 XLT Scanit. Bought this earlier this year as a replacement for the TTI Frasier which I reviewed earlier. And as usual, do a quick overview of what I like, what I dislike about it. I have got a playlist which I'll link below or stuff I picked up on there. And I also use this for the live stream videos. So basically what we have is well, this, this unit in scanner. Powered by two 2300 mAh batteries which last quite a long time. Comes with a D4 air antenna. BNC adapt BNC plug which is not too bad. On the top here we've got the headphone socket. And you've got the adjuster here so you can select the frequency, adjust the volume and with the function button you can adjust the squelch on the side here you've got your mini USB to USB plug so you can charge it up using your computer or the supplied plug and also that's how you use that to uh, program frequencies into it and on the back you've got the belt clip which is bloody quite tight actually. A uh, small speaker on the front you've got numeric keypad and I'll just put this on. Two band plan sections band plan 1, band plan 2, there's not much difference. I will put what I thought the difference is in the description box. Got a backlit display which you can keep on or off. Also you can lock the keypad. And you've got up to 10 banks and you've got 10 frequencies per bank. So you've got a hell of a lot of um, frequencies to put in. You can search the entire, entire band and it goes from 25 to 960 megahertz. Or alternatively, what you can do is use a function and the service search. So, so that will do the aircraft, uh, CB radio frequencies, uh, ham radio frequencies, emergency stuff, marine, PMR and um, Freenet. Not quite sure what Freenet is. And here comes the difficult part. What do I like? What do I not like about it? I like it because it's got a massive portion of the frequencies. Um, goes above nine, doesn't go above 960 megahertz, but there's nothing much above there anyway, except for radio mics and um, some of them surveillance bug things. The manual is fairly easy to get through and understand what it's um, what it's saying. Just uh, switch that off for the moment. What do we not like about it? That's the difficulty. I can't think of anything that I don't like about it. It's a good all-round receiver. Audio is good, even when you plug it into your computer. Squelch function is good. I can't think of anything that I don't like about it. Um, aside from the charging. If you let the batteries go flat and you charge it up, it takes well over 12 hours to charge it up. So you either have um, this for a backup, or you get some more rechargeable batteries and have them charged up ready. Other than that, I can't really, can't really say there's anything wrong with it, to be honest, which is... I don't think we've ever done a review where, the, where there's nothing to dislike about a radio. That's, that's weird, that is. Anyway, as always, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the ratings of the channel. I'd like to know what scanners you lot have. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified when the next video becomes available. 
Also, if you have any ideas or suggestions, comment below or go to my Facebook page or Twitter page and they're linked in the description box as well. Thanks for watching and 73s.